How easy it would be to fall for you But that of course is something I won't do friends welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well today so i am in a new place today just woke up this morning in savannah georgia and we got here last night around sunset i am here with my older sister lacy who you can see there <laughs> and we're here with our parents we had both wanted to take a road trip to savannah sometime this year and then when we mentioned it sometime my dad uh, let us know that he actually had a work trip to savannah so we all decided to go together so today me and lacy and our mom are all going to do some sightseeing which i'm excited for so i thought i would do a little travel vlog and take you guys along for the day let me show you my outfit of the day really quickly so i have gone pretty simple for today just to be comfortable this is a little sweater tee i got from madewell a long time ago i think like maybe three or four years and then this is my circle skirt pattern that I made with this Rifle Paper Company linen fabric. I have some little sandals from Sam Edelman and then some Ana Luisa earrings and, and pearl bracelet. So I'm super excited. I think we're about to head out. We're just waiting on mom. There is no place I'd rather be they're right here next to you And I truly love to talk about your lovers Old and new You never spare me details As you confide in me I smile and give advice But can I so Tell you it's how I feel. <laughs> how easy it would be to fall for you. But that, of course, is something I won't do. Hey, friends. So I am out at, I think it's called Forsyth Park and mom and Lacey just went to find the restroom so I am just hanging out here on a bench. It is the perfect temperature in the shade. It's a little bit warm in the sun but it's such a beautiful day for walking around so we've had a really nice morning. We started by finding the cathedral or basilica here which was absolutely beautiful and then stopped for a coffee at Mirabelle and also got some breakfast there. It was such a cute cafe and I'm still finishing up my second cappuccino of the day so be very caffeinated. Um, and then we found a little bookshop that I had seen recommended and that was so cute as well. So we're going to walk around the park. My mom is a big gardener and I think there's supposed to be a garden here. So we're going to find that and then probably head back to the hotel for a little bit and then maybe go find some lunch. So I will be sure to take you guys along for all of that, but I'm really enjoying it so far. It's such a beautiful city. some vintage shopping this morning which has been really fun we went to this really cool store that had a lot of different decades in it and it was really well organized one thing that we saw that we both kind of wanted was this 1950s red velvet opera coat so pretty so pretty but when do I have the chance to wear a 1950s red velvet opera coat so we stopped for a little coffee tea macaron break which is lovely we're at Paris market which is super cute and this is also an antique shop so we're gonna shop around here a yes. little bit as well so yes it's been lovely for you I am forever waiting for you
went to the cutest yarn shop called The Frayed Knot and I got quite a quantity of yarn, which I will show you guys later. I'm very excited about it. It was the cutest shop. So if you're looking for knitting or crochet supplies in Savannah, I would highly recommend it. Um, I think we're both getting kind of tired because we've been walking for quite a long time. So we stopped to take just a little break because I'm very tired and my feet are a little bit tired. I don't know. Are you tired? Oh no, I'm good. She's always good. Um, so we went to this little cafe that was so cute and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it. It was called Agatha's and it was like an Agatha Christie themed coffee shop all decorated with old books and it was just adorable. So I would definitely recommend that if you were in the area. It was very cute. So we had a little bit of a break and I have changed clothes for dinner and for a ghost tour, which I am so excited for. Um, so I decided to wear something a little bit more comfortable and casual and yet not. <laughs> this is a top that I got on Poshmark that's originally from Reformation, but I have the dress that is the same style and I love it so much. It's silk and I think it's a nice way to dress up a pair of jeans. So we're about to go get some dinner. How are you feeling about the ghost tour? I'm excited, but right now I'm just cold and this window is warm. Yeah, so you're like a cat in the window. Yes. <laughs> Mom always says I'm a cat. So yeah, <laughs> human cat. We just sit in the sun. <laughs> So we just came back from the ghost tour and it was so fun. It was very much like a historical tour combined with a little bit of theater. So I felt like it was a really fun way to see some of the city and just learn a little bit more about the historical sites, but with kind of a fun theater type of element. So I really enjoyed it. Um, and we're back to the hotel now. Uh, we had a very nice dinner with my parents and um, we went to this restaurant called, I think it's called Huey's or Huey's, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but it was like Cajun, um, Cajun food and it was so good. I had the grilled salmon, it was wonderful. And now I am back at the hotel and I thought I would show you guys a few of the things that I picked up today because I got some fun textile related things. So first up at the Paris market, they had a entire cabinet of vintage ribbons and trims for sale by the yard. And so I got a few hand dyed silk ribbons. They're just all kind of in bundles here. So the first one is this beautiful, vibrant, bright red. I just love this color. I think it's perfect for the fall and winter time. It's so cheerful. I also got the same ribbon in this light blue. And this one, it was the end of the spool. So I got all of the rest of it here. And then the last one is this really pretty pink. I felt like I was in a Jane Austen movie looking at all of the different ribbons in the cabinet. It was very fun. And I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with these yet. The red one I thought would be nice just as a hair ribbon for the fall and winter. Um, but I think it would be really beautiful to use those as like a shoulder tie on some piece of clothing in the future. So we'll see. And then I also went a little bit wild at the yarn store. I went to this yarn shop called Afraid Knot and they had beautiful, beautiful yarns. So I ended up picking up enough for a project that I'm planning for my nephew. So it will be a little baby sweater. So I got this beautiful light blue Pima cotton and alpaca blend. So this will be for the main body of the sweater. And then this particular sweater is a Beatrix Potter design with this little frog on the front. So I got a few other colors of the same yarn to make the color work section. So the green for the frog, and then these colors are for his little jacket. So I think it's going to be just darling. I'm very excited about that. And then I got three other yarns. These are for myself. I'm gonna scoot up just a little bit closer in hopes that you can see this a little bit better. Um, so these I thought would be so pretty to pair together. So there is this really beautiful silk mohair that's so fluffy in this rose coral tone. And then this one, which hopefully you can see, is an alpaca and merino blend. So I just think this would be really beautiful together. I'm not 100% sure what I will do with this yet and I may order more of a quantity, but I kind of wanted to test it out. So I got two skeins of this one and one of this one. So I had a lot of fun shopping for yarn. It was really nice just to get to go to a really beautiful yarn shop. 
and I will definitely link to them down below because she did tell me that they ship and the lady that runs the store was just absolutely lovely. So I would highly recommend if you are a knitter in the Savannah area. So we are in for the night. We have one more day here tomorrow and I'm really excited because we're going to be going to Tybee Island. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing you all of that tomorrow for tonight. I brought my needlepoint with me so I think I might work on that after I get into my pajamas and cozy for the evening but I will talk to you more tomorrow. friends so it is our last morning in savannah we're actually headed out around noon today to drive back to alabama and then to arkansas from there splitting that up on two days so it's not quite as long which is nice um and we'll stop and see my brother in alabama again but this morning we're gonna go get some breakfast i am looking pretty tired i'm noticing in the viewfinder here um but we're gonna go get some breakfast and some coffee and then get checked out and get on the road Well, hello from back in Arkansas. I have been working on editing the Savannah vlog this morning, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along on this trip with me and my family. It was a really fun time, and I just enjoyed getting to see a new part of the country that I had never explored before. So if you've been to Savannah, I would love to hear about your experience if you wanna let me know down in a comment below. But thank you so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel today. I'm going to get this video wrapped up, and I have my first fall video coming in the next couple of days, so I hope you guys will be looking forward to that as well. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel today. I'm going to drink my coffee, finish up editing, and I will talk to you in a new video very soon. Bye! For you But that of course is something I won't do Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing